joined the Navy right out of high school, and, and you served our great country for 20 years. And then, um, but let's talk about ice cream first. W what's the plan with that? Well, DreamEd um, is a staple in Jacksonville. It's been around for 75 years. We just had our 75th anniversary last year, and uh, my kids grew up on it. And my wife and I saw an opportunity to, to buy a franchise, and you know we talked about it and prayed about it, and I convinced my daughter to leave her corporate job to come run it for us and it's been smooth not smooth sailing it's been work <laughs> but it's been great the whole time and uh, rocky just, road oh yeah we just <laughs> went over 14 months 15 months it might february of last year uh -huh. and uh the plan is we're going to open as many ice cream shops as people will come to that's awesome and you do special things for military kids do you not absolutely um i remember you know when i deployed it was easy for me i think because i'm the one that's busy all the time on the ship and underway and moving um, although, you know, those first couple of weeks, you're, you're fairly depressed uh, mm -hmm. leaving your family behind. But yeah. I know my kids were really depressed. So what we want to do is um, anytime a family member deploys, uh, a parent, a mom or dad deploys, the, the, those children of that family can come to the ice cream shop that week and get a free ice cream cone on us, a free cup of ice cream on us for that week. And, uh, and That's really nice. Yeah. I, I, I've done my share of deployments and you know, leave the family behind, very difficult. And then for the family, that separation with the parent is really, can be traumatic. And so it's nice to have people reaching out that you don't know that are doing nice things for you. And that's wonderful that you and your wife and your daughter um, uh, are doing that. And it's great that you were able to employ your daughter after she graduated from college. So congratulations on that. Oh, thanks. You truly have a remarkable career right out of high school. You were in the Navy right away. And just tell us a little bit about your, your Navy career. So I, I joined, yeah, a month after I graduated high school, I was gone into boot camp in Orlando. Um, I was a cryptographer in my first 10 years. Um, I, while I was there, I went to college on my own. I was stationed in Hawaii, my first tour. Then I was stationed in Pensacola. Uh, I'm sorry, I was in Japan between Pensacola and Hawaii, and I flew on reconnaissance aircraft out of uh, Misawa, Japan, which is northern Japan. From there, I flew all over the Persian Gulf, and I think they called it the Persian Gulf back then, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, did you know deployments out of there, flying against uh, our enemies over there. <clears throat> and then I got picked up for commissioning program uh, when I was in Pensacola, went to Auburn University and got a commission, became a surface warfare officer. And that brought me here in, uh, in 1998. And uh, um, I was on frigates here in, in Mayport. And uh, then I was, my last tour, I was on a, I was operations officer for Destroyer Squadron 22 up in Norfolk, Virginia. Mm -hmm. And we all know that surface warfare officer is really the cream of the crop in the Navy. Uh, Top Gun really about folks that didn't make it through surface warfare officer school. Is that correct? <laughs> yeah, as a former SWO, you know that to be true. Of course. Yes. And, and we're the best looking. Yes. Uh, but so for you, you went to school, uh, you got your undergraduate degree, got your commission, and then um, decided you, won't, you weren't, weren't done in the classroom and you went to law school. What was that like? Yeah, it was painful. Um, I, I was looking for what I wanted to do when I retired, and I knew I didn't want to be stuck in an office on the 14th floor of some building. Um, so I became, a, I went to, to law school. And I went to law school while I was on shore duty here in Mayport. Uh, so I worked all day during the day and then I would go to school, you know, part day and then at night. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a long three years, but I, able, I was able to get through it and I'm glad I did it. Mm -hmm. And then you went to work for Ron Scholes and his firm has always been very veteran friendly and has veterans as he hires. And then, um, but now you have your own firm at the beach? Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, it's actually, it's downtown here in Jacksonville. Okay. Um, yeah, I was a prosecutor first after the Navy. Oh, that's right. You um, worked for yeah, Harry the state. Yeah, Harry Shorstein hired me, and, and, and I love being a prosecutor because I always felt like if I was in front of a jury, it was because I was right, and uh, I like that feeling. I like feeling like I'm there and I'm trying to do justice. I tried a bunch of cases there, and then I left there and went for, worked for Scholes, Ron Scholes for five years, and then uh, after that, I started my own firm about seven years ago, and it's just mm -hmm. small boutique personal injury, litigation, trial firm. Mm -hmm. um, so I mostly do car crashes, those sorts of things, mm -hmm. represent people who are injured. Right. And I've been doing that for seven years. Very good. Now, how do people find your ice cream shop? Um, you can Google Dream at Atlantic Beach, but it's it's in Atlantic Beach on Sailfish Drive, which is right across the street, on, off just off Atlantic uh, on a side street from uh, Aqua East Surf Shop. Mm -hmm. Beautiful it's location. It's pretty, pretty easy to find. It's a great place yeah. to find. Big parking lot, golf cart community. Mm -hmm. We have everybody from walking to golf carts to cars to old cars bikes. coming up bikes mm -hmm. um, and scooters it, says, it seems like everything's motorized these days very good and then how do people find your law firm uh, just again it's kurtzlawgroup.com is the my website um, they can uh, look on there to contact us can email me um, if they ever need anybody to represent them because of an injury
Very good. Well, you are the American dream. I mean, it's amazing. You know, you went from high school all the way to being a lawyer, and you had the top, uh, highest clearance you can have in our country, and trusted with the best secrets and the most important crypto that we have to offer. So, truly, an amazing life for you. That's not over, and you've got a lot of life to live. And um, congratulations. Thank you for being an entrepreneur, and thank you for your service to our city after 20 years of service to our country. Yes, thank sir. Thank you very much. Thank William. you for your service. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you. Take care. And that's it for today's session. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. And you can see more of these shows at the dailynewsnetwork.com. Operation Barnabas is a veterans ministry. Um, started in 2017 with the purpose of helping um, our veterans that uh, kind of got left behind. These people went over and went to war for us and a lot of their friends didn't come back and that's a lot of the stuff that they that we as veterans deal with is, is there's a lot of people that didn't make it back and then it's like why are we here? So even and then they isolate. And uh, you know they've struggled with addictions, PTSD, uh, suicidal thoughts, those kind of things, helping them get whole again through one-to-one -one mentorship. So being able to communicate with them and help them can drastically change their life, can drastically change a family's life. The little that we can do is put our hand out and say, hey, do you want a hand up? Like, we're not giving a hand out. Do you want a hand up? And just be able to be there with them and do life with them and, and just be able to help them because, man, they put their life on the line for you and me. Thank you.